This morning in family time, if you're already feeling cabin fever with the little ones, well, fear not back in studio this morning to share some crafty ideas for winter season fun is our mom blogger, Courtney Caligiri. Welcome back. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is a time you got a bunch of little ones. They're getting antsy. You can't always get in the car and then go to an indoor activity yeah. sometimes you have to make them up at home you have to and sometimes it's too cold to like just send them in the yard i yes. mean even my dog's like i'm not going out there you know in the <laughs> it's like so cold um this is perfect because we've had great snowy weather mm -hmm. and snowflakes are so fun and what i love about them so they're like real snowflakes they're all different they're all unique you know they're all, they're mm -hmm. they're not the same so um i haven't made these in years yeah could you refresh our memory as to how to make them? Do you think we can try it? It ourselves? looks intense and scary to do. Mm -hmm. I swear with all the folding, but like so once you do cut one, on the wrong spot. So that happened to help. my daughter. You know, you fold them up and then you're, it breaks apart, and you're like, "What happened?" Mm -hmm. You know. Um, so the key is, you need um, a square piece of paper. Okay. All this is is printer paper, like copy paper. I pulled it out of my printer. Now I could make you an origami cup, but you I could, think we we're could make paper airplanes too. Yes. But I don't have enough paper. Um, a little trick is, and it's kind of cut haphazardly. I just did seven inches. You know, you want to make it mm -hmm. big enough if you want to decorate your yeah. home with it. So you have your square. So you're going to make a triangle first mm -hmm. right we're on the same page okay and then try to make another triangle basically folding it okay in half so this is where it can get a little tricky so now we both have a triangle mm -hmm. and then have your point at the top as you would see a normal triangle you're going to fold it in thirds now so basically you're okay. going to fold a little bit almost like an airplane i guess this is the trickiest part but this is where you get like these awesome points and whatnot okay. and then you want to fold the other one Kind of, you know, the in this way, so that the other they match. way. See, oh, okay, like across that. the other one. Yeah, yep. You want to have them kind of like okay. look like tails. And you okay, kind of match it up. Or where's however. the third fold? No, that's it. See, I think I messed it up. No, let's open it up. Let's do it again because it's okay. Tough. Okay, what happened here? I All do, right. Well, you tell me. Okay. So oh, I didn't bring the other side with it. Yeah. That's so just why. cross that over, and then you can do like the same, you know, ah. with, with the other one. Thanks, Mom. So basically, it looks like it has like a little tail and it's haphazard a little okay. bit, but that's okay. We're going to trim that part off because we don't need it. So just kind of round this out right here. Yep. Get rid of the scraps. So now you kind of have like a cone. Yeah, a crazy folded cone. Yes. So from here, now you can start to make your designs. Quick tip, if you want points, right, mm -hmm. you're going to make a triangle at the bottom. Okay. If you don't, if you like the round one, then you can just start cutting in on the side. So yeah, we're going to do a pointed one, so I'll do that with you too. That that nice. way you get those nice And then do I cut along these or along the folds? Yeah, so you Just can cut in like a round circle or I mean you need to do too many, but maybe I'll nice. do like a round one in here. So Court, I'm going to keep cutting mine. I'm going to open mine. And, and can cutting. you tell us about the next activity that you have? Yes, for kids? there we go. See, and it looks different from the others. Um okay. So <gasps> That's awesome. Yay. That looks so good. And you can decorate with glue, glitter. I'm putting whatever, that in the window. Whatever you want to do. Um, so this is a DIY snow globe. You know I love me some mason jars, so mm -hmm. I had those. Um, and I had some little tiny figurines from like our fairy garden. You can yeah. use plastic old toys. My boys have a ton of Hot oh, Wheels. Yeah. I mean, honestly, whatever you have, and I think it works out great for this. You're going to want to glue it on the lid first. Give it a couple of hours to mm -hmm. set in. Um, fill your jar about three quarters of the way or more with water. And if, now the mermaid's going to take the plunge. Yeah, it's going to say put some glycerin in for the glitter. Try okay. to put her in. Hopefully her glue is dry, guys. Let's see. Put the lid on. What a great idea! And then you have a little. Oh my goodness! You could put uh, all so your leftover Barbie shoes in there. They're yeah. laying around for yeah. years. I mean, anything little little, little toys little you get in figure. like um, fast food meals, like whatever. Yes. You're like, what am I going to do with this? I mean, just just glue it down. Genius and, um, idea! Look at that! Snow globes and snowflakes. Yeah. Perfect activities mm -hmm. for you to try with the kids.